Hello, this is Robbie Myers with Physical Science Experiment 1-1 from the module, The Basics. Atoms and molecules make up everything that surrounds us. Individually, they are simply too small to see. However, you can distinguish between different kinds of atoms and different kinds of molecules by examining the substances that they make up, as well as how those substances change. In this experiment, we will observe molecules <clears throat> changing into atoms and atoms changing into molecules. By observing these changes, you will learn, we will learn about the difference between atoms and molecules. For this experiment, <coughs> you need a ruler, <coughs> a pair of scissors, a small juice glass, it should be clear, two nine-inch pieces of insulated wire, the wire itself must be copper, or else the experiment won't work. A 9 volt battery, some baking soda, and some electrical tape. You need as well a teaspoon to measure the baking soda, and you need one of these whisks to stir it around in the water. So, now you fill the glass 3 fourths full. We have already done so. Now you take this teaspoon, it doesn't have to be this one, take a scoop of baking soda, and dump it into the water, like this, and try not to make a mess. Then you take the funny whiskey thingy and stir around the water. Stir, well, I'm stirring really hard, it seems. You don't have to stir that hard if you don't want to, but for, that's for best results. Here's an alternative way. Stir is a bit easier. So, notice that I've stirred the water so the baking soda's all gone. Bye, baking soda. Now, take the whisk out <coughs> the glass without making too much of a mess and put it aside. Or better yet, away. Now pick up a wire. You have to cut off about one-fourth of an inch of the insulation. You're going to want to pick up the scissors right about now. So gently <coughs> start cutting the wire. No, don't cut the wire, just the insulation. You want to pinch the wire with si with the scissors and slowly revolve the wire and slowly revolve the wire. This will get the insulation loose. Then if you do it right, you can just pull off the piece of insulation. Like so. <coughs> now this may be boring, but I need to do the other side with you watching just to make sure you get the picture. Don't worry, I'll do the other wire off the camera. This one's a little tricky. Now, if I can just get this thing off. This one's being a little difficult. Yeah, I'll do the other one without you watching. So, now I have both wires with their little tips cut off. Now I put them on the battery tam terminals. Make sure that the wires do not touch each other. That'll ruin the experiment. As you can see, I am now putting the wires on the terminals so that they become slightly-ish electrically t charged. Great. I need someone to help me tape these on. Hint okay, now I've had my help getting the tape on here so the wires will stay. Now, grab the glass and put it in reach. Got it? Oh, good. Now, bend the wires so they curve into the water while still making sure that the wires don't touch each other. As I said previously, it will ruin the experiment and you'll have to start all over and that would stink. Now, <coughs> notice that the red wire, which is connected to the negative terminal, is bubbling more than the black wire, which is connected, quite obviously, to the positive terminal. <coughs> now, um, as you're going to have to have it sit for about 10 minutes for the full effect of the experiment to work, you want to have something for it to sit on, for the battery to sit on while you wait for those 10 minutes, because I doubt you want to sit there and hold the battery for 10 whole minutes. So you want a book or something to hold the battery up.
Alright, the 10 minutes are up. The water is now bluish green, though you can't see it very clearly. Hmm, let's try it from a different angle. Now, you can see from a clearer angle that the water is a bluish green. Now, I take out the wires. <coughs> Notice that you can see that the black wire connected to the positive terminal is more bluish green than the one connected to the negative terminal. In the water portion of the experiment, we saw a molecule, water, breaking down into its constituent atoms, hydrogen and oxygen. Well, when we pulled the wires out of the water in 10 minutes, we saw that the wire connected to the positive terminal of the battery had turned a bluish greenish color. In this case, the copper atoms in the wire interacted with water molecules and baking soda molecules, aided by the energy contained in the electricity. The result is a blue-green substance called hydroxycarbonate. Copper <coughs> hydroxycarbonate is formed when a copper atom links together with oxygen atoms, carbon atoms, and hydrogen atoms. In this experiment, the hydrogen and oxygen atoms came from both the water and the baking soda. <coughs> the carbon atoms came from the baking soda alone, and the copper atoms came from the wire. In this case, then, we observed atoms, copper, linking up with other uh, atoms, oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen, to make a molecule, copper hydroxycarbonate. This was Robbie Myers, your, uh, Christian scientist. Yeah.